Hello and welcome back to Roy as a Boy. It's been a little while again. Uh, for today I have got a walk along uh, auto strimmer trimmer. What it is, it's a strimmer but it's got wheels on it and you push it along so it makes things a lot easier. Um, I think it's from around 1970s I would say. I won't know until I've looked at the uh, engine properly. Um, it's a non-runner, it doesn't have a spark on it. Uh, the owner, uh, it's he just wants it running and serviced uh, so he can use it again so it's not going to be a restoration which is a shame but never mind uh, so anyway let's go and have a look at it but before we do if this is your first time to my channel please uh, subscribe to the channel and hit that grey notification bell and uh, you'll be told when I've got another one and if you like the video at the end of it please give us a thumbs up so anyway let's go and have a look at this uh, trimmer and see if we can fix it <laughs> All right, so this is the one. It's a little, uh, it's an old, I should say, really. It's a Bob Andrews, uh, Bob Andrews uh, auto trim, 1970s. Uh, I would suggest that this thing is. Uh, I won't know the actual date until I've taken the uh, recoil cover off and uh, have a look on here and see. Look at the code and that. As you can see, it's an old system. Um, with these ones, uh, you have to have the uh, screw in because of the automatic torch type choke it has on it um, old style uh, car bretter uh, but we'll have a look at that after um, Paul called here uh, it's not combined inside it's got a cog system which is on here um, yeah so we'll go around it it's got the uh, start and off which is stuck on it at the moment I uh, already know there's no spark on it because uh, I took this off uh, yesterday off camera uh, just to have a look I just wanted to see if it had a spark and it doesn't so like I said um, I'm probably gonna change it to electronic ignition I'm gonna take a um, coil off a 35 classic lawnmower engine then uh, stick it on there and that should do the trick and I won't have to worry about the points anymore um, yeah it's not in too bad condition I think uh, I'll clean up the exhaust in it and we'll, let's just have a quick look underneath and it's still got a good belt on it still has some uh, trim line on it as well anyway let's get it on the deck and uh, let's see if we can sort out all right first of all we do is we we'll take this ex uh, exhaust off oh that ain't very good is it look that is just crumbling if i take that out has had it so that's going straight into the bin so I'm gonna need a new one of these all right I took this cover off because it's uh make it a lot more easier um, like you see if you can see on there let's just bring this camera around a little bit you can see I put, I've even put a new uh, spark plug on there I've done that yesterday um, and it ain't firing whatsoever at all and there's no spark actually coming through here um, it's got a nice belt on it I'll give it that uh, this seems to be split there so that may need a little bit of welding um, I have got a MIG weld in there uh, which is a, no, a gas and no gas one so I might just have a little practice and see if I can weld that back together uh, because it's got four nuts on it and only two of them are reaching and one of them is actually stuck inside there as well anyway uh, let's have a look at this carburetor I mean look at this carburetor it's in a bit of a mess even the inside has got a lot of corrosion um, and I don't think that has been run for a long time um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be stripping this down taking it off stick it straight into the uh, ultrasonic cleaner give the tank a good uh, flush out if it needs it uh, anyway apart from that let's get that done and then uh, we'll, we'll take all this off all right so I've taken all the bolts off of this uh, on this one uh, these ones have 11 mil bolts instead of 10 um, also when it's got the normal 13 mil here and one underneath which you can take this uh, pull start mechanism off and I've got one more bolt which is under there just to keep oops that's going to be an 11 mil that was a 13 mil on that one so we'll take that off so I don't think that's been undone for a very very long time so if I take this off 
Yeah, it's very rusty and a few cobwebs underneath there, so we get rid of, rid of them spiders. Yeah, it is very, very dirty in here. Um, I'm just trying to see now, just to make sure that it does have... Yes, it is. It's got a point system, I can tell by the, uh, the coil. So I will take that off. I've stripped all this down and uh, I'll show you the parts when it's done. Well, I've had to stop there just for a little bit. Uh, I just waited to show you uh, the actual state of this engine. Um, so what I'm going to do, it needs a really, really heavy clean uh, in the fuel tank. Uh, it ain't too bad in the fuel tank, but what I did find inside it was a little beetle or something like that actually inside the tank. So that goes, something's got through here and it's been living in that tank and it couldn't get out again. So right, let's give it a little bit of a clean up and uh, I'll come back. Right, let's start taking this uh, carburetor off. Now I think I'm gonna get a neighbor now over mowing his grass, which ain't gonna be very good. So you might hear a little bit of noise in the background. Yep, so I hope you can hear me. So we take this bit off. These are slightly different than the uh, 35 classic ones. You've got to be careful there, you've got a little gasket because there's a little pin there. So that has to slide out and that's part, that is part of the gasket. So I'm gonna take these five screws off. And hopefully these, the gasket on this is fine. But I do need, I am doing it to put this into the uh, ultrasonic cleaner. It's already heating up at the moment. I've had it on for about half an hour just to heat up. Of course, there's one more there. I nearly forgot. Let's take this bit of rubber off. Now then. Oh, it's stuck. That's been on there a long time. So we've got to be very, very gentle with this now. Just, just to... Oh, wow. Let's just give it a little tap. No, it doesn't want to come out. Right, I'm going to come back to you. I've got to prise that off very, very gently. Well, I've managed just to, to loosen it, so this has got to go through that hole there. And actually, the gasket's actually got stuck. Got to be careful with these springs. So that gasket don't look too bad as it happens. Yep. So. I will just take this gasket off because it's got the spring connected to it. It is stuck on there. Well, right, I'll get this off and then I'll come back. Right, I managed to one. So what it is really, it just parts that, and that there is the whole diaphragm on these ones. Now this is one of the good ones which I've seen. I have to admit, so I don't think that is going to need replacing. So we'll keep that to one side. Um, I'm not going to take these off. What I will do is I'll give it a good old spray. It don't look too bad from, from this point of view. Uh, but inside there is uh, a completely different story as you can see inside there. Uh, I will give it a carb clean inside there before I put it in the ultrasonic cleaner. Uh, that looks like it's fading away just a little bit there. But we'll see. And... Uh, Inside there ain't too bad either. I'll just give that a bit of a car clean and uh, that should be all right. All right, I've put the uh, the new coil on. Uh, what I'll do, shoot, I'll do now is I shall just show you the uh, the spark on it. And as you can see there, it's got a lovely spark. So that should start when I put everything back together. Um, I'll show, put up a link to the video where I did a conversion of changing the points and condenser to this uh, electronic ignition up in a link uh, it might be an up in a link or it might be just down below and uh, you can go and watch that one how I actually converted this to this
Right, the carburetor's come up nice and clean, really. Uh, I did take the jet out and uh, I gave it three, three and a half screws in and put it back in the same way. So anyway, we've got to put this little spring back into here. And then you've got to put this little uh, spacer type washer thing because it's nice and smooth on there. And the reason that is, is because it has to sit on the actual diaphragm. So we'll start putting this back in here now. Let's get it right in there and show you. That goes into there. And also, the, got to get these over the top of those. That goes in. And then all that does, that sits into there like that. Make sure that is on there like that. That's in. And then we'll hold that in together. And then we'll put this back into here. It's the wrong way around. Just make sure that that spring doesn't come out. So we hold it all together. And then we'll screw that up. Once that's screwed up to get them tied down together. And then I'll come back to you. Alright, so all I've got to do now is just put this uh, cover on. Just make sure that is inside there. That goes one way because you've got the two little lips there and then go, there's two little holes in the gasket. And then we just screw that back on. Is to turn the right way. Don't want to over tighten it because uh, it doesn't need that much tightening and it's cast aluminium, and so, so you don't want to cross thread it. So that's that done. So, what we've got to do now is uh, I've got some other things to do before I actually put that back onto the engine and everything. Um, I have got to try and see if I can get me a MIG welder. I've never done it before, like I said. Um, so I might do that next. I uh, might have a little bit of practice on a bit of metal I've got down below. And if I'm happy with it, it's actually working, then I'll try and do fix it. Right. The MIG welder is working. I've had a little practice. I'm not the best. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to try and do some spot welds. All it is really is just to hold this together just a little bit because it's only just for the cover. It's for nothing really structural. Um, like I said, I've never done MIG welding before. Uh, so any tips would be welcome in the comments. So let's, let's have a go at this and uh, we'll see if I can do it. Well, I forgot to turn the camera on. I do apologise. Uh, it ain't the best. Uh, let's just see if I can get a hammer here. down there take this off and take this off and there you are that is all I want you to do so that'll do for me uh, like I said it's not the best of welding I've never done it before I need a lot of practice on it and confidence of course uh, but that will do well I'm happy with that I had to do another little bit just on there uh, and I've flattened it down and now that, that ain't going nowhere so I'm just going to offer this on because before I could only put two screws in um, I could have put the other one in but now as you can see look at that both holes match in there and as well as that one so that one, that is another good job done uh, so let's go get on with the rest of it and put hopefully put now put the uh, fuel tank and uh, carburetor back on and get on with it oh right, we start putting this um, coil back on you've got to put this side on first because you've got to put one screw in there before you actually uh, put the such the recoil back onto there so there is one screw which was the last one I actually done 
which goes into there. I've got another one at the front here. I will have to do an oil change, but what I want to do first, I'm going to make sure it's uh, up and running. And then I can wait for the oil to heat up. Right, we're starting to put this back in. I'm going to take a few takes actually to get this back in because um, there's one screw here or one bolt I should say which is a bit, a bit of a pain to go in uh, let's see if I can get it in now this time there we are that's it Don't want to come off. I've got to take this one back off so then I can get the fuel tank on. Right, let's get this tank back on. Um, it's a bit awkward as happens. That hook just goes into there and you just lift it up. Squeeze that one as much as you can on there. Just make sure that is moving nicely on there. That's it, that's good. Uh, there's two little bolts, I've got to squeeze that back now. One goes in the front. There wasn't, I don't think there was one there earlier. I don't think it's holding too good. Um, there should be another 13 mil bolt which goes into here. Take that cover off. Get the 13 mil socket. Is that the 13? No, that's an 11. All right, got this 13 mil. So that's all tight. That's all tight. I'm gonna have to get yourself another bolt for that. All right, I'm just showing you how. Remember when I showed you this uh, air filter? Um, I don't have one, so <laughs> I made one. Just out of a bit of foam, simply enough. It'll do the job for now, just so I can get it testing. Right, let's stick this back in. Hopefully this will start. Get this on. I'm not going to put the cover on it, the, the front cover, because I want to make sure it's all working. I think I might have to adjust the um, jet on it because it was running a bit a bit lean. So I think I would, might have to adjust that a little bit. But, so that's that. Uh, I'm not going to put the handle back on either. Um, just making sure everything's working. Yep, right. So let's take it outside, put some fuel in it and see if it starts.
that's how you saw that working lovely uh, in the garden there um, so I've bought as you can see it's back on the table now um, I've put the handle back on and I've also uh, what the exhaust pipe let's get it over it apologies for that uh, the exhaust on it had a great big eye on it and it was very loud uh, it's not very good I didn't have one of these I could have ordered one um, but it would have taken a couple of weeks on uh, my post uh, so what I did I took the exhaust pipe off the uh, engine which I took the coil off and because it had the two screw holes on it as well as well as a twist one um, it fitted so that's that's done that job nicely so now I've got to do now is set up this throttle um, so I've, I've put this on there and I've put it on so it's it's on the off position and on the top of the uh, throttle handle up the top there I've put that on stop so now really all I have to do now is literally just put that into there screw all right so if I push the throttle that should forwards and backwards so there you are that just needs a little bit more tightening up there you are so all there is to do now is just uh, put this cover back on I'm glad I did do that little bit of welding uh, at least I know now that the, the actual welder works um, I used it on gasless uh, at the time so put that one on there this one goes in there this one's a bit long in there so I might have to trim it down afterwards but I want to see if it actually fits this is a different size so it's going to be an 11 mil, I think See if that one fits into there then. Put the ten mil back on. There we are. There we are. Did take a little bit long getting those bolts sorted out. This one's no good because the, the bolt is actually snapped in it. But I'm not too worried about that, and I'm sure uh, the bloke who owns it ain't going to be too worried. So there you are. Right, so behind me on the deck there, on the floor there, you can see the machine. I'm over uh, a little field that uh, I've got, and you can see the grass is quite long. So what we'll do, we're going to just give this uh, machine a run up, and just to see how good it really is.
as you saw that on that uh, grass there the gra that grass was quite long in places and it's quite thick as well uh, it will need some more uh, lines on it so it can cut it a little bit better uh, plus the grass was really wet as well so I think it done a little job uh, a good job I should say more than anything else that's all there you have it that's all there is on this uh, Bob Andrews uh, auto trim uh, all done all up and running and uh, very well working so the baker owns it I think will be really happy he won't be cutting grass uh, as much as this uh, in his garden he only wants it for sort of edges at the ends where he can't get to him digging in right deep with it and uh, he hasn't really uh, probably got the strength to uh, lift up a proper streamer uh, he, he, he does watch my videos um, he wrote that like, he wrote like that last little bit uh, me and Gary uh, anyway so that's all there is on this uh, video so if you did like it please uh, give us a thumbs up uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, hit that grey notification bell and then you'll be told when I'm doing another video uh, another video so until next time cheerio